with Israel not needing an enemy because they have a friend like the U.S., we also see that being true for the soldiers here in the U.S. Fox News reports that the Pentagon training manual says that white males have unfair advantages. A controversial 600 plus page manual used by the military to train its equal opportunity officers teaches that healthy white heterosexual Christian men hold an unfair advantage over other races and warns in great detail about a so-called white male club. What's going on in the U.S. military? There is indoctrination on a level never seen before. We're talking about the redefinition of many things here in the U.S. We're talking about the, uh, uh, the aggressive agenda to uh, bring to nothing the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights, all the while redefining its meaning. We're talking about the new definition of terrorism no longer being Al-Qaeda or the, uh, the, the, the ones who've declared a hatred and desire to destroy the United States from outside, but we're talking about now the so-called new homegrown terrorists uh, being Bible-believing evangelical Christians. The ones who still believe in the right to bear arms. The ones who are okay with purchasing gold for bartering. The ones who enjoy homeschooling their children. Hey, listen, this is no exaggeration. You are now considered a homegrown potential domestic terrorist if you are survivalist. If you believe in the book of Revelation. Hey, you know, we've, we've done broadcasts on that. We've got to move forward. So it's no wonder, though, the Pentagon... Again, it's a hardcore indoctrination taking place with our men and women who are in uniform. The, our, the military is no longer what it used to be. The military used to be a prestigious, honorable thing. But we now see an exposition that's taking place. We see an, an, an indoctrination that's taking place to turn our U.S. armed forces into a new world order global system service, if need be, to turn against the U.S., to fire on U.S. citizens. You think I'm kidding? Just look up litmus tests. You think you'd be very surprised as to what you may find. Also, we've also we've we've taken the time to do a DVD ourselves called "Coming to America: The Truth Will Leave You Speechless," and it delves in and exposes much of what's going on in America concerning the U.S. Armed Forces being turned, transformed into the New World Order, global military. It exposes the New World Order from leaders around the world, including U.S. leaders, up until President Barack Hussein Obama. It exposes the litmus test. It exposes the new face of terrorism, according to the DHS, the DOJ, and so forth. According to the, the, this administration, please go to our website, emof.org. Get your copy for you and a friend. Heck, get, get a few copies for you and a friend today. You need, to, you need to know this stuff because, again, we're living in the final hour we, we, we're, we, we got headlines, you know I'm on a roll right now. We got headlines confirming the destruction of the uh, Republic as we speak. What's this all about? Check this out. Seven, although it's been corrected as being nine, high-ranking military officers fired by Obama. This is the first time in U.S. history. Are these the ones that won't cooperate with the impending martial law in the U.S.? Sawyer. And a good evening to you on this Friday night, and we start with a developing story, a shakeup at the highest levels of the U.S. military. A top general in charge of nuclear weapons fired, and this comes 48 hours after another top military commander was dismissed. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz has been talking to her sources all day, has the very latest on what's happening right now. Martha. Diane, these officers have some of the highest security clearances you can get and have been in charge of the nation's most sensitive nuclear arsenals. A stunning chain of events. Today, Michael Carey, the two-star general responsible for the nation's three intercontinental ballistic missile wings, fired from his command. The reason? 
personal misbehavior on a military business trip. This comes just 48 hours after President Obama himself relieved the number two in command over the nation's nuclear arsenal over his suspected use of counterfeit poker chips. These follow an alarming string of general officers losing their jobs this year for inappropriate behavior, misconduct, or lack of leadership. Two Marine Corps generals fired less than two weeks ago for not providing proper force protection in Afghanistan, an army brigadier general relieved of duty for adultery, an army two-star general fired for groping a civilian, and in March, a navy one-star removed for racially insensitive comments and abusive leadership. Last spring, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff was so concerned about all the high-profile cases, he sent a letter to Pentagon Brass urging a recommitment to ethical leadership. The Navy has been the most aggressive in taking its officers to task. At least 16 commanders have been fired this year. The bad news is how much this is happening, Diane. But the good news is that the services are taking action. All right, Martha Raddatz reporting in tonight. Thank you, Martha. What are all these suspected so-called uses all of a sudden of addictions and poker chips and all? Seriously, that's the best story that could be. Called. That's the best story that could, that, that that they could come up with. But you won't fire Sebelius, right? The one who's in charge of Obamacare. And you won't take care of what happened with Benghazi and the ones who didn't release help. <clears throat> Hillary Clinton. <clears throat> uh, Rice lying. Duh! There's more. I gotta keep focused. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. With all the perversion that's happening in the U.S., it's no wonder, and again, with all of the abominations that are being accepted here in the US with all the redefining of what good is and what evil is woe as the prophet Isaiah said to those who call good evil and evil good who who exchange bitter for sweet sweet for bitter we're seeing again a sign of the times concerning the hour that we're living in concerning the destruction of the United States of America the Constitution the Bill of Rights the uh, principles the morals biblically founded to now allow this. America honors a sexual predator on a postage stamp. What would you call a man of whom as regards sexual preference his own friend and biographer confessed Harvey always had a penchant for young waifs with substance abuse problems. Well you would call him Harvey Milk. Harvey Milk's only claim to fame is that he was the first openly homosexual candidate to be elected to public office his chief cause was to do away with the Judeo-Christian sexual eth ethic. In 1978, Milk was murdered over a non-related political dispute by fellow Democrat Dan White. And now he is considered a progressive martyr. Well, this so-called pro progressive martyr, a.k.a. sexual predator, has been honored by the U.S. and has its own postage stamp. You know, such as John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King and many other men and women who've done honorable things it's a sign of the times my friends check this out we have the american family association reporting that pedophilia has officially been classified as a sexual orientation okay what excuse me oh hell no i said hell no I'm saying no to hell, and I hope you are too. What is this? Let me tell you something. This is how homosexuality, the acceptance of homosexual, the, the acceptance of homosexuality began. Being accepted as a sexual orientation instead of the abomination and the lie from the pit of hell that it really is. Instead of the deception of Satan trying to totally pervert the image of God, is it was accepted as just sexual orientation. Love, acceptance, the way someone was born. No, oh, it's not the sin nature. It's not the fall of man. It's not the lies of Satan. It's, 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 it's just a orientation. It's a choice. And for some, it's not even a choice. They're just born with it. Guess what? They're labeling pedophilia the same way. Now, just for lesson purposes, Pedophilia is described as follows. Pe 
pedophilia, as medically diagnosed, typically characterizes a sexual interest towards children generally age 11 years or younger. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Now, you know, there's been an update to this report. According to the American Family Association, once this report was exposed, it caused, what, what you can imagine, a huge uproar. So the American Family Association had to quickly release this update. The APA reports that pedophilia with sexual orientation claims that it was an error. They didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. Pardon us. I'm not sure how that happened. Okay. All right. So obviously what it turned out is that they were testing the waters. That's all. That's all it was. And they got the reaction that they were looking for. Now they didn't probably want the reaction that they got, but they nevertheless wanted to get, they wanted to test the waters. They wanted to see what kind of reaction they were going to receive. And once they got it, they said, oh, wait, 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 it was an accident. It was error. We didn't mean to calm down. Just like what's going on with many agendas here in the U.S. Just like the homosexual agenda. Just like the Common Core education totally being ratified, totally being ra eradicated and being replaced with the socialist Marxist agenda. Again, all this typically just testing the waters. And if nobody really says anything, if the uproar isn't really big to cause too much attention, they're going to continue it. And eventually it'll work itself out as being just something that always has been. And that's just the way it is. And the same thing goes with this attack, again, on the Bill of Rights, the U.S. Constitution, and much, much more. Are, are we headed for a civil war here in the U.S.? Well, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, it certainly seems like it. The number one thing that we here at Open Your Eyes People is interested in making sure the purpose of Open Your Eyes People is to have you truly be ready for the time that you close your eyes here on earth and you open them up in eternity, that you are right with God Almighty. That's the purpose. Because you need to be right with God Almighty. You need to have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life from the foundation of the world. You need to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Fully surrendering to the Lord Jesus Christ is one thing and one thing only. only, So that you will be saved. So that when the time comes, you would have relied on Jesus to be your Savior, your very salvation, than you yourself. You can't save yourself. Only Jesus can. Do you understand? Give your life to Christ. You need to give your life to Christ. You need to surrender your life to him so that you won't be deceived in this final hour. So that your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And so that the time when you close your eyes here on earth and you open them up in eternity, you open them up in the arms of God. In acceptance and not rejection because you chose to reject him first. Don't reject him. He loves you. And he'll save you right now. Call on the name of the Lord and you will be saved. If you're not sure what to say, I'd be honored to help lead you into a prayer of full surrender. Anita at emoaf.org. Anita at emoaf.org. Conversation is kept private. The email is for specifically those who desire to help, to excuse me, to, to receive help in praying onto the living God and not sure how to pray. I love you guys, but praise be to God. He loves you more. Listen, join the conversation on our Facebook page, www.emof.org has our Facebook link. You just go onto my website, click onto the link to Facebook, join the conversation. It's always very interesting. You get to meet a lot of new people and I'm there all the time because I constantly put these headlines up with the help of many who send headlines to us from all around the world. A special thank you, by the way, to all of you who do that. And, uh, also, check out the resources that we have on our website, many uh, that will bless you in your walk in this final hour. All right, be sure to tell your friends about us. Have an awesome weekend, and until the next time, Jesus, God Almighty, bless you and your household, and have you walk in peace in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. He shall speak pompous words against the Most High, shall persecute the saints of the Most High, and shall intend to change times and law. Then the saints shall be given into his hand for a time and times and a half a time.
take the mark of the beast or be beheaded? Are you ready to make this choice? Why does this sound like some freaky science fiction book? Tell us what this is about. These two workers have microchips? Right, right. well, this is very, very real, and these microchips are about the size of a grain of rice. They get injected into your skin.